welcome back. Right. Let me show you how to install Classic Workbench. It has WHD load in it and iGames and everything. So first you need a CF card. If your adapter's got the CF card, and some of them have the USB. Some of them have the SD cards. So whichever one it is. If you're using the CF, you're gonna need a CF card reader plugged into your computer. Now, I'm not doing this on screen capture because Elgato won't work with this micro computer <laughs> at all. <laughs> so you've got no chance. <laughs> so just plug that in. Alright, first thing is go to disk part. So click in your little open window, type in disk part, all one word, no spaces. D I S K P A R T, disk part. It'll open up and then you want to run as an administrator. Yes. All right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to bring the camera over so you can see the screen. And then I'm going to do it from there, I'll guide you through it. All right, so now we're into command prompt. We're on disk part. Type in list, space, disk. Hit enter, and it brings up. Now, before you start doing this, make sure there's no other SD cards or CF cards or anything plugged in other than the cards you want to clean. Now, this one on line here, that's my hard drive. It'll probably be your hard drive as well, so don't select that. The card we're after is a four gigabyte, which is this one here, which actually says 3823. That's the one we want. So you type select disk three, which is this one. Hit enter. Disk three is now selected. So now from there you type clean, but make sure it's the one you want. Because when you clean it, it's going to wipe it. And if you wipe off your hard drive, the computer will just go off. <laughs> so yeah, type clean, enter. It comes up, please remove, so you can cancel that. We're not bothered about that. This part succeeded in cleaning the disk. So if we type list, disk now, and hit enter. And we see disk three here. It's the same now, whereas before it wasn't. So now we've cleaned it, so we can exit. Right, next thing you, you need, you need to go to Classic Workbench web page. And these are the different types of Classic Workbench you can download. And my setup, on my 500 plus, I've got two meg of chip RAM and 10 meg of fast RAM. And I've got an 020 accelerator. It tells you, if you click on hardware, Gives you the different types on here: two meg RAM, eight meg, uh, eighty meg hard drive. Down here, it'll tell you which system it's ideal for. So it's a six hundred or five hundred plus with a ROM memory expansion, and so on. You scroll down, it tells you all the different ones. So you need to download one of them. You also need games. Now, this is WH Download, not WHD Load. WH Download. This site's more up to date than WHD download at the minute. So this is where I mainly go for my games. Right, so once we've done that, right, you need to go to amigaforever.com. Yeah, it's .com, Amiga Forever. This is where you get your ROM files from. Obviously you'll have to pay because you need ROM files. So that'd be uh, 1.3s, 2.4s, 3, 3.1. They're all your ROM files that you need for the win UAE. Move the keyboard because we don't need that for now. now I'll plug my C CF card back in into my accelerate board. So what we'll do first, we'll uh, get the CF card done. On here I've got um, Workbench 3.1 installer on the USB stick and a GoTech. Start it off and the install will kick in and install. Well, bring it to the workbench. So now we're on the install workbench. So go into install. HD tools. And an HD toolbox. Right. 
it's got one of their braces on there. So change drive type, so we select that. Define new. Reconfiguration. It gives you a warning system, but don't worry about it. Just ignore that. Now it's ready. But yeah, the numbers are different to what it's on your CF card. Because remember, <laughs> when these are our biggest hard drivers, 80 megs, so just ignore that bit. Just click OK. Click OK again. Then we're going to partition drive. Select that, it brings you up to this screen. And I'm only going to do two drives one for the system, and one for games. Because in the system, I can create another folder called work, and that's just where I transfer stuff. So I always do just two. I come across. I have got, I've got three on this one, which is for this 500. I actually don't use the third drive, so there's no point creating three partitions. So the first partition, as close as down to one gigabyte as you can get, because you can use, like I said, put a work folder and then transfer stuff in there if you need to. Change the name from just to DH0. Hit enter. You must hit enter every time you change something on here. Otherwise, it won't save it. Advanced options. Click. Change me. Go up to this one. So max transfer is one FFFF, or some use one F E zero zero. Either one. Click OK. Next partition. Bring it down. So again, we want this one because this is our games partition. We want it close to two megs as possible. And remember, this is going in a, a five hundred. If you want a bigger partition, you're going to need a different file management system for it. So once we go to that, do the same again, change the name, th1 hit enter, change the max transfer, because this max transfer, when it's transferring it, it brings up errors. Well, it doesn't bring up errors when it's uploaded, because oh, whatever, who cares? Let's just change it one. Hit enter, click OK again. Now we've done both partitions. So click OK, click save changes to drive. Now it's come up, not changed, but it has, so don't worry about that bit. Once that save changes to drive has faded out, you're good to go. Click exit. Now what we're going to do is going to give it a restart. Restart the system. Uh, all being well, it worked. Two drives will pop up, and they'll come up as non DOS or something. So there we go. DH0, N DOS, DH1, Scribble. Uh, it's gone DH0, just highlight it. Up to the top, right click icons, scroll down to format. So we're going to call this one system. System, get rid of the uh, trash can. You don't need a trash can in there. Quick format, format, format. Don't do format, select a quick format. Format is the exact same as what quick format does. It's a quick format, it's quick. Format, you'll be here for some time, so don't press it. So now we've got one partition done, it says system. The next one, which is our biggest partition, click on it once, right click at the top icons, go down to format. Again, I'm going to call this one games for obvious reasons, and then quick format. 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 And now I'll format that one. Now you're done on this side. Once this is done, like that, we're done. So we can turn off the um, 
500. Remove our safe card now. Now you want to put your safe card into your safe card reader. And you'll get this warning come up on the screen asking you to format it. Don't format it. If you format it, everything you've just done will be wiped off. Click cancel. So it takes you out of that. So now we're going to put classic workbench on it. So once you've downloaded that, whichever one you've opted for, you put it into your folder where you want it. Mine's in the desktop. I've made a folder called A500. So once it's downloaded, you need to unzip it, which this is unzipped now. So we like that. Just open that. That's the file we want. System H.HDF. That's the one we're after. That's what you should have. You also need to download SKIC from Amulet, which is this Kickstart. That's all the Kickstart ROMs which you will need because you'll get an error, read errors when you're trying to play games and it'll say something like um, missing, uh, did not find Kickstart ROM. And then it'll give you a number like uh, 40068.A1200. Then the ROMs it's looking for. If you don't put these in there, it ain't gonna load the games. It loads some, not all of them. <coughs> right, so I'm presuming you've all downloaded Win UAE. Yeah, I'm guessing. If you have, well, if you haven't, download it and install it now. Because this is the next stage we're going into. So go to your WinUAE. And on WinUAE, right click. Go to more. Run as admin. You need to run it as admin. Once we're here. You see we've got loads of configurations up here. For different systems that I've been doing. Uh, so we're going to go... 500 plus Mark II, which is this one we're doing now. And then just, I'm going to click load. But what I'm going to show you is the CPU. And here, my CPU is a, a 20. I could go a little bit higher and speed it up a bit, but it don't make that much of a difference. So, mine's an 020. Uh, Chipset is a full ECS, yeah. depending on your system. This should automatically do it for you once you, you've picked the right one. If you go click start up here, if you click the model up here, which you want, it should automatically do it for you. So what I'll do, I'll do it from scratch so you can see what it's done. So select the 500 plus, go to CPU. Mine's got the O2O, so I've highlighted that. Go to chipset, it's full ECS, so I'd select that. Advanced chips that you don't need to worry about. Your ROM. Now I'm presuming you've got your ROM files legally. Yeah. Mine's a 500 plus ROM. If you um, you should have all the different ROMs if you got them the, the way you should have got them. I can't help you where to get them from. You can't figure it out yourself. Right. So that's the ROM I want. And RAM, now my RAM is my fast RAM is 10 megs, but it's 8 megs on here. And then my chip RAM is 2. Yours will probably be 1, unless you've got 1 meg expand. If you're using a 500, if you're using a 600. Yeah. Floppy drive, you don't need to worry about this for the meantime, because we're not doing anything with the floppies. You don't need to install um, Workbench. Now the CD and hard drives, I'm going to click on add hard file, and at the top says path, bring it down and then where well, you've just downloaded that classic workbench, whereas mine's in here, you need to go in and find your system.hdf file, that's mine, click ok, that's it, you're done, so now we can start it. So just click start down here. Let's open this up a bit so you can see it. Right. 
And this process is just asking your questions how you want it set up. Do you want to add this? Do you want to add that? This is the clicker. Do you want to add the clicker for the uh, floppy drive? Jesus. If you want the clicker turned off, you know that tick, tick, you can constantly hear them, but you can opt to turn that off. And then the scroll wheel and stuff like that. These are just all the options, so you'd have to go through it yourself. It's dead simple, just follow the on screen. Hit return. Oh, hang on, helps if I'm there. Actually, I'm on the wrong keyboard. <laughs> yeah, computer keyboard. Hit return, and then it says, Welcome to Blood Ridge Classic Workbench. Install. Right. And what it'll do, please insert Workbench 3 disk. Yeah. But 3.0 is not what I'm putting in. I'm putting 3.1, I've got 3.1 wrong money. So, from here, hit F12. And it'll bring you back to WinUA. Go over to your floppy drives. Over it. And then scroll down. These are all your workbench discs. So, you should have got them legally. Yeah. Now it's looking for workbench, so I'm going for workbench 3.1, which is that one. Double click that, that, click OK down here. Wait for a second, once it's gone to 40, I can press enter. Uh, disappears to be workbench 1, so it's checking. Workbench 1 detected, launch and upgrade options. So what it's doing is, because it wanted version 3, and I'll give it 3.1. It's upgrading itself to 3.1. Now, do you want to upgrade to Workbench 3.1? Type Y for yes. Valid Workbench disk file. Now it'll go through the process. And then it'll ask for a nest disk. And then the next disk. So this is going to take some time. So I'm going to skip all this. You won't see this because it just goes on and on. It takes about 20, 25 minutes. So they're dead simple to follow. So just read what you see on the screen first before you go press and enter or yes or no or whatever. And I'll see you back once we've done all this. Right. Now you'd have got to I pressed enter. It took me to this before I could even show you. Right, so you need to reject discs. So on floppy drive. We've got a floppy disk in there, so we need to reject that. Click restart. And click start. That will bring up classic workbench. Now it's not on your hard drive yet, this is only an image file. You need to left click on system once and then right click and rename it. We need to rename it system one because on your hard drive, two partitions, we've called one of them the first partition TH0 system. So we need to call this one system one, otherwise they'll clash. System one, click OK. Now we've done that, we can F12, come back out, click restart, then go to CD and hard file, uh, CD and hard drives. Now we're going to add our hard drive now. So click on add hard drive, at the top, hard drives. Your hard drive will start with RDB, which is A. RDB. The MBR will be your hard drive for your computer, so don't, don't pick that. It's RDB. Make sure it's read right. Click add. Then we can click start again. Right now it's going to bring up the classic workbench, but it's also going to show you your hard drive, your two partitions, your system, and your games folder. Hopefully. So we've got here games we've got here system and then we've got one called system one system one is the um, image file which is created for classic workbench which is running this at the minute system is one partition on our drive games is the other partition oh god it keeps doing this yeah i've got something wrong with this i don't know where it is and i can't figure it out it keeps glitching the screen all right so down the bottom here um, let's first let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of the background. Uh, default. 
backdrop. There you go. Let's get rid of that. I'll take a snapshot so it saves it. I can't remember which style. It's here. Yeah. Snapshot. Oh. That's a background won't appear anymore. Right. So we go down to run. Double click. Dopus. Click once. Now it's brought up. Dopus. So on the left hand side, down on the S, right click, and it brings us straight back to the main directory. Now if you look here, we've got system and system one. Well, system one is the one we want. Double click that, and it brings up all the system. Go to the right hand side, highlight it, and then right click on the S. So we're in system one there. Now this, over this side, we want it to be our hard drive. So our hard drive, DH0, is system. So we select system, double click, that's system there. So we come back over to this side, highlight it, select all, and now we're going to copy it across. So click on copy. Now that'll take a while, because it's got to transfer everything you've just done from here onto your hard drive. So we'll just leave that running. And once that's finished, we'll come back. Right, so it's copied all across. So now everything what was on our system file that we created is now on our hard drive over here. Right, so now we want to copy off from the image, we want to copy the games directory. So if you go to DH0, which is Sys1, the image file, and we've got games here, so we select games. And if you scroll down, you'll see it's also selected Game Info. So it's got two. Now we're going to try and copy them across to our games partition. So left click on the right screen, right click on the S, and then select the games directory. Double click. Why is there a trash can in there? No, whatever. So now we go back to this side, and then we want to copy all across there. We don't want to select all, we just want to copy the games folder across onto here. So click copy. And that'll transfer everything over. So that'll take a while. So I'll let that do that because it's got a, all those screenshots and everything from iGames. What took the longest part on the previous bit. So I'll leave that. It's going to take about five, ten minutes. Then we'll come back in a minute. Sorry, camera. Right. Ah, don't do that. Right, so remove all the drives. So we go back to our hard drive, drop down the RDB, click on that, add our drive. And then go to add directory and add our PC again. Select directory, documents. I want the S kick as well. So, that's in desktop. There it is. It's going to load a kickstart as well. So we need to transfer them across. So select that. Select OK. Select start. Now that's going to load up from the hard drive now. This is your actual hard drive, not the image file. And you can't use that classic workbench image file again. Well, you can. You can duplicate the CF cards, just do the exact same process over and over again. But if you want to start from scratch, with like you want to do it on a 1200, you'll have to download the whole thing again to start it because that system file is only for the 500s now. Suspend that. I need to look at that because I don't know why it's doing that. So now this is our hard drive or a CF card all this so we've done that so you can see we've got PC here if I double click on that that's all the stuff in the PC folder now we need that because we need to transfer our kick files across so the S kick that you downloaded that's them so go to run go to dopus
on the S on the left hand side, right click, you need to go to PC, which is here. These are all our kit files down here. So all of them we need to transfer across. So go to system, click on it, right click, then into system. Then there's a folder called devs. So go into that. And then there's another folder called kickstarts. Yeah. Go into that. And you see the kickstarts? There's only a few here. So we need to try copy them across to here. So highlight the PC, go down to all, select that, and then click copy. And it will transfer them across. Um, it says some of them are duplicates already exist. Do you want to replace? Just click all, replace them all, it doesn't matter. Now, you might get some errors later on when you try and play a game. You know, what I'll do, I'll install a game a few games so we can get the error to come up and it'll say one of your kicks is missing I'll show you how to fix that right, so now we've done all the kick files you can close that yes quick F12 remove the PC restart I'm going to add another directory and we'll go to games now PC select directory now, uh, ours is in documents. WHD, just check it. Yeah, WHD games. So that's my directory. That's where my WHD load games are. Select, click OK, and then click Start again. So we can make the screen a little bit bigger. There we go. Right. The first thing we need to do is we need to tell tell it that where our games folder is. So we go right click at top, go to settings, to start up, down to assign. So on here you'll see a sign A games equals sys games. But well, it's not ours is games. So we click that, change that to games. Right click projects down to save and save it then we can close it now what we can do we can run dopus and we'll transfer a game over and so in dopus right click on s bring it up so the pc which is our directory from our computer with our games in double click that and select the games you want so, um, games, naughty ones, that's a good game. So, go to N, scroll down to whatever game you want. I want naughty ones, Night Hunter, North and South. It's not a great game, but never mind. Come across onto the right hand side, right click on RS. Sorry, I've got here. Uh, food cooking <laughs> it's sizzling out there right. cross into games into our games folder and then because we're in N here we want to be in N here so double click on N now all these are your image files from iGames so now what we're going to do is arc extract them to that so Make sure you highlight PC up top. You've got your games there ready. Down here, Arc Extract. Click. And it'll go through this. It's extracting it and putting it into your end. So once that's done, we'll come back. And we'll have a look. All right, so now it's done. It says press left mouse button. We've done that. So we'll close that. Yeah, quit. You can keep on doing that for all the games. But remember, if you go into N for like, um, I don't know, Mickey Mouse, then you need to do transfer that into the M folder on your games. So just repeat that process for each game, each layers. And so on. you can select like in N, you can select all the games and transfer them all into N. But you'll be there a while. Right. So now we've done that, we can close that. 
Now we've assigned everything. Go to drawers down here. Come on. App file. And then here it says add games. So we need to double click that. Now it's searching for any games that you've just installed. And it's adding them to the iGames, not well, WSD Love Games. So depending on how many games you've added, it's the length of time it'll take. I've only added two or three, so it ain't gonna take long. Right, so now that's done. It says hit enter to exit. And it'll close that down. So we can get rid of that. Get rid of that. Now we need to go into iGames. So run, WSD load, iGames. Well, this is iGames. So you get screenshots so when you click on a certain game if there's a screenshot for it it'll appear up here so you can see what the game looks like go to the top right click scan repositories if you remember this from a previous video i did scan repository down the bottom here it says scanning a games please wait so now it's checking what games is there right now it's scan sorry i've just eaten now now it's scan project repositories you see our three games we've just added Night Hunter, North and South and Naughty Ones right, so total games 6 State of the Art, Blood Witch Art and Blood Witch is already installed on it it's part of Classic Workbench so now yeah. so you just click on the game you want there's the artwork for it which isn't very good so naughty ones, so double click, loads up, there you go, yeah. I've just got to go back and sort out that copper, <laughs> that's why I don't ever put stuff on, because it screws it up, but yeah, oh by the way, best game ever on all platforms of Amigas. If you haven't played it, play it. Brilliant. So yeah, that's how you install Classic Workbench with WHD Load on a CF car for your Amiga. Right, future Stu here, so I'm interrupting a bit. I forgot to mention, yeah. Once you've done all that, you can F12 and win your AE and then quit. Then remove the AE CF card and stick it into your Amiga. I have them. I've just cleaned everything up. And I've got rid of that copper bloody thing. So, yeah. Once you've done that, if you go into system, let's close that. Let's go into your system. Go into the S folder. Bring that up so we can see. Now, your files might be hidden. These will come up anyway, but if they're hidden, do a right click, view, and then click all files. And it'll bring up all files which are hidden as well. So what we're going to do here is look for WHD load preference, which is the WHD load dot prefs. Right. I've already just done this, and why I thought, oh yeah, I didn't cheat this bit. You should know it, because I've done it in a previous video, but it's all part and parcel of what we're doing. Now, you need to scroll down this list and find your quick key. So, uh, be close to the bottom, down here. It says quick key equals dollar $5A, but it'll say 5A on yours. Mine says 5 now because I've changed it already. <clears throat> and it'll have a little exclamation in front of it. Right. So change the A. So if, if I set it all to how it looks, that's how you'll see it. Right. It'll say exclamation quick key equals dollar five A. And we change that to five nine. So click after the A, delete it, type nine, scroll across to the Q. I like the Q, we're going to delete the exclamation. Delete. That'll activate F10 as your quick key when you're playing games.
instead of getting F8 or F10 or delete or print screen, which print screen is your actual your star key on your numeric pad. This will always ask you for F10 to quit game. So once you've done that, go to the top, right click on projects, scroll down and save. That's it. Then you can close it. Close it. Now, this is full of games, so, so go to my eye games. I think it's about 400 games, something like that. Oh, no, not, not on this one, that's on the 1200. Isn't it? <laughs> on this one, there's 216. Yeah, so bring up your games, scroll down to the game you want. Uh, where's the naughty ones again? We'll have the naughty ones. So, naughty ones. <coughs> so now the game's up. I mean, I was waffling to you and I didn't show you the loading up WHD, but on there it said F10 without looking. I know it is F10 on my keyboard down here. If I press F10 now, exits every game will always be F10. So back to past you, the older one. Yeah, little tip there. No. That helped you. If it didn't, oh, you got no hope. <gasps> anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching. Don't forget, thumbs up or down. Don't forget to hit the subscribe. It's free. Plenty more videos coming. Yeah, I don't know when. Anyway, cheers for watching. See ya. Eat. Two bones. Oh yeah.